lo and behold, Germany's is going to be 85 this year, and so isn't the United States. And Germany is a strong country. And so uh, these figures are going to go up exponentially. They're just going to keep on piling on debt. And America's broke, and Wall Street's broke, and the banks are broke, and on and on and on. And uh, one day everybody will wake up and say, gee, I think the game's over. But I got my gold and silver, so I don't have to worry about it. Bob, has there been a, a president that's been a lame duck so early in his first term? Never. Of late? Yeah. Nope, never. <clears throat> and you know, we have a, <clears throat> I think there's 18 lawsuits against the president uh, saying that he's not a citizen. And one of them supposedly is in the Supreme Court, and that would have to be adjudicated by June if it's accepted. So, if that happens, we may have Mr. Biden as president. Would he become, well, I guess we really don't know, would he become president, or would, would they actually have to have another, because the whole, the whole election would have been a fraud. Who's to say if I mean if Hillary had been there if if the Republicans wouldn't have, would not have won? I mean, just to throw Biden in there, I mean that puts the whole election off. Well, you have to remember that these people have stated that the Constitution doesn't exist. They do what they want to do. Well, they do what they want to do, but I think there'd be a lot of people out there fairly outraged. Well, maybe not, because this country doesn't know how to feel any outrage. So, <laughs> there's no such thing. People do not, who are not outraged anymore. I mean, any, look at, look what's happened. You see any outrage out there? Well, you're beginning to see a little, but not a whole lot. I just picked up a piece on Pennsylvania. Uh, they're deeply in debt. Absolutely. Hundreds of millions, uh, and uh, I ran the link for Sadie's issue. You'll see it in there, in all of the details. Did you see that, Melody? Well, I read an article last week about where, uh, you know, they were contemplating bankruptcy and how they're going to be a uh, possibility of selling off a lot of the uh, uh, state-owned assets, you know, various parks, waters, waters, and recreation, and and all sorts of things in order to pay their bills. It said, I think, they were in the hole for $384 million. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you get that in that position? How, how monumentally stupid can you be? No, the stock market might have gone down and they had invested in it, but it came back again. Even, I think, what it said was even the current budget has grown 5.4%. They just don't get it. They don't care. And that's what I was mentioning, too. It's just not here in Pennsylvania. It's everywhere. You mentioned 40 states. Deep trouble. We started talking about this uh, five years ago. Mm -hmm. Nobody was listening. Everybody, generally speaking, who's an expert, have been wrong almost about everything. I mean, I don't know how they keep a following. I'll tell you one guy that get, gets it is Dylan Radigan, who's on, uh, is it MSNBC? And this issue, which you'll be receiving or have received this morning, um, and incidentally, if somebody didn't get an issue on Saturday or today, let me know. And by calling Melody, if you would please, and give me a phone number, and and so that we can get to that issue. If you didn't get it, we've had a lot of trouble, and it's supposed to be cleared up to tomorrow by the afternoon. Hey Bob, unless there's 300 of them, <laughs> an email. <laughs> well, everybody who would call would want to buy coins, you know. <laughs> so you know, if you have to burn the bid at midnight, all you have to do it. 
Yeah. Okay. I know you're in your infirm and aged <laughs> condition that that's a problem, but uh, mm, you told me earlier before we went on the air you were hearing voices. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Hey, Bob, here's a question for you. It came in from Robert. If the Dow were to retrace back to 1,000, and many people believe the Dow to gold ratio always reverts back to 1 to 1, does that mean gold would stay at 1,000, or would gold still attain several thousand dollars an ounce in this scenario? And where would that put the dollar on the U.S. DX if this was to happen? Well, that's a pretty convoluted question. Uh, first of all, I don't believe anything in that ratio. It's never worked, and the rest of them don't work. And so I pitch that out the window. Now, to answer your question on a fundamental basis, if the market went to, and I don't think it will go to 1,000, I don't know that Richard Russell really does either, but, uh, and that's where it was in 1980, which wasn't that long ago. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, if the market went to, between 28 and 4,200, which I projected. And I said over and over, if we're lucky. Now, I didn't know where to say the bottom might be. Uh, I know I wrote uh, a long time ago that I thought the ultimate stopping place uh, would be uh, 1150. Uh, there was support there, but that's a long, long time ago. And, uh, and I don't think there's any support every, anywhere. And I don't think that 28, 3,000, 4,200 are pertinent. I mean, who knows? I mean, I know that on the way up, there was resistance, big resistance, between 38 and 4,200, then at 4,500, then at 54, 56, <coughs> 62, and 66. So what do you pick? Pick? Well, I don't know. Nobody does. So if it goes down, what's going to happen? If it goes down like that, we probably will be in the process of leaving inflation and hyperinflation behind and going into a deflationary depression, which means the dollar would probably drop about 50% from where it's at on the USDX from 80 to 40. Now, what happens in the meantime from inflation and hyperinflation, I don't know. If we get that inflation, hyperinflation, say for a year or a year and a half, uh, maybe gold could go to two or 3,000. Now, if in the meantime and after that, deflation takes over and the stock market drops, Everything would drop in value. What would gold and silver do? Silver is a hard one to call, and I, I still stick to that because it's basically an industrial metal, even though it's been used for centuries as currency. And I would think that in a deflationary depression environment that less silver would be used and so would they would might be a silver a silver surplus so at the top of the market you might have a retracement of silver say for fifty dollars an ounce we'll use as a, a guidepost uh... back down to twenty or twenty five dollars an ounce but gold is different gold's a real monetary metal and if all the currencies are falling against gold, the only place you want to be is in gold. And that's why Melody and I both say 20 to 30 percent in silver and the rest in gold related assets. Right, Melody? That's correct. And if you get a little wild action on the upside, that's fine. And you can do some selling and switch into perhaps gold bullion coin if you think that silver might be topping. And you'd keep some silver, such as dimes, quarters, and has 364 junk, in order to barter with, because you're going to need them. And while all this is going on, 
you have to decide is gold going to stay at 3000 or 2500 or 2000 wherever it is if on a short term basis all this happens and the answer is probably yes and the reason for that it's the only real currency in the entire world and the only one for the last 6000 years so i don't want to be any place else and as I told you over and over again, every week I buy coins when I can find them.